All right, in this module, we're going to talk about importing tracks into your DAW. I'm going to start with the empty project template, as it's going to be one that everyone has access to right out of the gate. This is a stock template that comes with Cakewalk by BandLab when you download and install it into your computer. Okay, now I'm going to change the way this looks just a little bit here to get this ready. And there we go. So there are a couple of different ways that you can import tracks into Cakewalk by BandLab. The first way that we're gonna cover is going up to File, Import, and Audio. And from here, I'm going to find the file that contains the multi-tracks that I would like to import. As you can see, there's several different options available here at your disposal. The first is to copy the audio to the project folder or the new folder that you are creating for this new project. The next option is to import these as mono tracks. And you can also set your bit depth import here. Likewise, you can set your preview bus to whatever you would like for it to be. All right, so I found the multi tracks for the particular project that we're going to be working on Kayla Patrick's song Found. So first, I'm simply going to select the very top file hold the shift button and select the very bottom file. This will then select all of them at once. Another way that you could do this is hold the control and press the A button. This will also select all. Now I'm simply going to hit the open button. As you can see, Cakewalk by BandLab is now going to work to import all of these files in the order that they're named. Okay, all 34 files have now been imported and they're all available and ready for use. Now, prior to this tutorial, I have taken the time to painstakingly name each one of these, not just with track numbers, but as well as what is included on that track. So as you can see, track number one, Kayla Patrick, lead vocal. Track number five, acoustic guitar. Track number 12, Jason Reeves, slide guitar. Now, if at any time you would like to rearrange the way these instruments are stacked up on your end, that's completely fine. It will not mess up anything that we're doing within this tutorial. I've just simply set this up in a way that makes sense to me. Likewise, if at any time you'd like to change the name of these files, you're more than welcome to do so. I would, however, recommend that you leave them in the state that they're in, as this is going to be the easiest, most straightforward way for you to follow on the screen with me as I move through the tracks. All right, now starting back at this screen, I'm going to open up the pro startup template that's found here. So right out of the gate, I've got all of these color coded and drums have been mapped out. However, that's not really going to be applicable to this project because it's not one that I'm starting from scratch. However, this will still be useful for saving the time of color coding tracks and adding track icons as well. So instead of importing all of the tracks at once, I will actually have to go and insert each individual track by itself. So within the tracks pane, I'm going to right click on this portion here and go to import audio. I'm then going to find the folder that's labeled multi-tracks. And as the first track in this instance is the lead vocals, I can simply select that here and hit open. Now, as you can see, this is gonna be a little bit more time consuming, but it will save time as well if I don't have to color code the tracks. This also opens up the option to still have the pro tips that are included on each track here at your fingertips. One way to speed up the process, if you have more than three electric guitars in this instance, is to simply right click on one of the tracks and go to duplicate track. This will then duplicate the color scheme as well as the track icons, any sins or plugins that you have on that track as well. So this is option number two, to manually add the tracks into the Pro Start template in this way. However, now I'm gonna show you the easiest, most simplistic, and the best way if you're using Cakewalk by BandLab. 
So the easiest way to load this project into your version of Cakewalk by BandLab is to use the .bun file that's included with this tutorial course. Now, we've previously talked about .bun files, but now you are going to see firsthand the power that is inherent in using .bun files. So by going to File and Open, I'm going to find the Kayla Patrick found bundle file here within the Cakewalk tutorial course. I'm now going to open it from here. This now opens the Unpack Bundle dialog screen, which allows me to set the location of the folder and the audio path as well. I also have other options to store the project audio in its own folder and to create one file per clip. I'm going to leave those selected as that's going to give me the most flexibility when it comes to unpacking this bundle. Now I'm going to simply hit OK. As you can see, Cakewalk is going to work unpacking all of these WAV files that's found within the project itself. Finally, when the project is opened, everything is color coded. All of the icons are in place, all of the tracks are in place, and if there were any plugins that were enabled on this particular project at this time, all of the plugins that were used as well would be in place. This will be the quickest and the easiest way to get you up and running with this tutorial course and by following along with these multi tracks. For future reference, if you're working with someone all the way across the world, even who's using Cakewalk by BandLab, and you guys have the same instances of plugins that are on your tracks, or if in this instance, like we're pulling up right now, you have completely dry, unmixed, unprocessed versions of tracks, this will be a great way for you to share projects back and forth and for you to be able to see the same thing on each screen and all of those changes reflected in real time.